How's it everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be potting two acacias into pots. We've just gone into spring and all of my acacias are starting to shoot out buds so I think it's the perfect time to repot them. These are the pots I'll be putting them into. In this video I'll take you through the process that I go through when I'm repotting. I'll show you how I trim up the roots as well as how I prune the tree once it's repotted. The first thing I do before I take the tree out of the training pot is mix up my soil that I'll be using. So I've already done that. And in here I've mixed up some compost that we've made in the garden using grass cuttings and garden waste. I've also thrown in some river sand and some coarse gravel stones. In my soil mix I've also thrown in some organic guano pellets for my fertilizer. The next thing I'll do is make sure that my pots have got something covering their drainage holes just to make sure that they drain nicely. So as you can see this acacia was root bound in the training pot. It's definitely a good time to give it a repot. You can see it's also growing with an olive tree over here. I'll separate this guy and put him in his own pot. When I take the tree out of the pot, as you saw, I like to just take a screwdriver or a chopstick or something just to loosen up the soil so we can see all the roots that we're dealing with. And after that, I like to take a hose pipe and just rinse it down and wash off all the soil and get ready to cut the roots a bit. Here's a little olive that came out with it. Put some nice root development on it. Some nice So I'm quickly going to repot this olive that was grown with the acacia. It's got some very nice root development on it. Just going to come and give these a trim back. And I'll be potting it in the same soil that I'll be using for my acacias. So for now I've just put this olive tree in the training pot. I'd like to get some more development on it before I go and put it in a nicer looking pot.
So now trimming up the roots of this acacia, I'll just start off by removing the bigger tap roots and then we'll move on to the finer roots. And what I'm trying to achieve is I'm trying to get the roots to sort of radiate outwards. Okay, so that's all that I'll remove from this tree. So as you can see, I've tried to create a nice shallow root base. And as you can see, this tree's got a really nice foot. So when I plant it, I'm gonna aim to get the soil sort of up to here so I can show off this really nice foot that it's got. I'll start off just by putting in some soil at the bottom of the pot. I'm just going to take my fingers and gently tap down the soil in between the roots. This is what it looks like in its new pot. You can see I've left the foot slightly exposed over there. Now what you could do is you could put a, a mulch on top of your choice. So I'm going to give this thing a water quickly. And clean up that foot and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I like to water on uh, mist, just so that it's not too heavy and direct to disturb the soil. Just finished watering the tree, now I'm going to give it a bit of a, a prune. So when it comes to pruning the acacias, it's pretty simple. You just go to where you see some new buds coming out. And you can just give it a trim. So this tree doesn't need much pruning. I'm happy with what I've done. I'll just come and remove this dead branch over here. So that's it for this tree. I'll place it in the shade now for about a week or so. And then I'll move it back into the sun.